Hi and welcome to another Memories Made video. I'm designer Jen Gallagher. Today we're going to start with an unusual color scheme. And it might be a color scheme that you think about when you think about creating a Christmas layout, but we're going to use it for a traditional everyday layout. We're starting with a sheet of diagonal striped paper from Simple Stories. On top of that, I'm going to bring in some red. And this is from a My Mind's Eye 6x6 paper pad. And I have just cut it and we're going to mount it here at the top of the page. Across the center of that, I'm going to add from a Jelly Bean Soup ephemera pack this little flax family sheet. It's kind of creamy yellow. It is double-sided, but I'm going to use this side. I'm going to just mount that right across the bottom here. And we're going to build kind of a bunch of different layers here. From that same ephemera pack is this little label, again, double-sided, so you could use it in multiple different ways, but let's just start building some layers here. I have a date and location from the same ephemera pack, and I'll be sure to link you to all the products so that you can find them. Follow the link below the video to my blog, and it will tell you all the different items that I used on this page. We'll add the So Cool. And then you can add in the date and probably in 10 at home. So you can add in the date if you wish. Behind that, I'm going to add another Jelly Bean Soup ephemera item. This is not from the same pack. This is from a different pack. It does say sweet on the top. And go ahead and add that behind it as well. Just create kind of a little different layers. And you can see I'm bringing in the red and the green and all of the different colors. On the left here, I'm going to use a pocket from Fancy Pants Designs and it is library card pocket. You could add additional journaling or photos inside here, but I am actually just going to use it as it came. And then inside, because I want to bring in some black and white, I'm going to place a American Crafts DIY tag. And then we'll just adhere this to the layout. Then across the bottom of the page, I'm going to add some more black. I want to bring some of that black that we see. This is an older paper from Echo Park. It's from a Times and Seasons 2 collection. It has this damask on the back, but basically what I want you to look for if you're recreating this page is a black piece of paper that has some white in it. I'm just trying to bring in all of those different elements of color. Do make sure that you can read the numbers. And I've pre-cut it so you can see it's the same width as above and I'm leaving a little bit of a gap. I don't waste my paper very much. I try and think ahead of where everything is going to go. Across the center of the page, I'm going to take this yellow and it's kind of not an exact bright yellow. It's kind of an off yellow. It is from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna place this right across the page here. But I wanted a red, green, yellow, and then black kind of marries all the different colors together. On top for the photo, I'm using a five by seven inch photo of my son. And I chose a particularly quirky photo of him and you'll see why when we create the title. But this particular photo really made me laugh. So you can see that I'm centering it right on that ephemera flax family paper. And there are a lot of layers on here, but because the photo is black and white, I'm using it on my page. Now, why did I change it to black and white? He was flushed and sunburned this particular day. And so his face was all red and I tried to clean it up in my photo editing program and I couldn't get it exactly like I wanted. So I changed it to black and white and then it worked great. I'm going to add a doily to the right here. And then I printed my journaling on a sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Now I only have a regular size printer. I don't have one of those wide format printers. So here's a little trick that I did. This particular piece is cut into two pieces. You can see it came from the top of an eight and a half by 11 inch paper. And I cut it in this way so you can see how to stretch it across your page. 
So first we'll place it on the left side of the paper. So this is how one way you can print on eight and a half by 11 inch paper and make it look like it's longer. And we're gonna lift this up a little bit. We'll tr trim off a little bit of it because I don't need all of it. But we're gonna create the illusion that the paper is longer simply by mounting it underneath that photo. So no one will ever know that it's not a longer piece of paper because we've placed the cut edge right underneath. Then to the sides of the journaling, I'm going to add a couple of black brads. And these brads are from a Halloween collection. Just look in your particular packages of brads for a color that works. And I'm going to pierce a hole through both sides. And then we can add these brads. So just because you have a non-traditional colored page doesn't mean you can't add additional items. What I do is I think of collections that might have the color I'm looking for and I knew that I wanted black so I thought well Halloween usually has black so I went through my brads. Sure enough I found a Halloween package that had plenty of black brads. So open these on the back. You can see how they just add a little bit of texture. So the journaling talks about how my son has this ability to get out of being in trouble and he does that by being rather charming. So that is why I picked that photo and then the title will help explain a little more. I'm going to add a, another envelope right below the photo. That's gonna bring in that red. That is also from Fancy Pants Design. And then to help hold that photo in place, I'm going to take a glue dot and place that on top there. Now some additional layering that I want to include will include some additional ephemera pieces. We're gonna place one right on top that says you are my sunshine and that brings in some of that yellow right down there to the bottom. Then at the top here, we're going to add some flare badges. And you can see that I've cut them out with the packaging on the back. That's a trick that I always use. And then we'll also add a button tied with twine, and I want to get a fill for placement before I place it on the page. And then we can add the flare badges. They do have adhesive on the back. Just mount them on. One says today, one is an alphabet and cursive. And then of course the button has just been tied with some crochet twine. And I'm going to use a glue dot to hold that in place. I'm going to mount it right on top of the photo. Straighten up that so cool title. Now here is the title that I am going to use. This is a Christmas title and it actually says Santa Define Good. But I thought by using just the Define Good part of the title, it was a funny way to talk about how my son gets out of being in trouble. So you can see the title works perfectly for this particular page. Now to adhere it to my page, I'm going to take a sheet of paper. This is from last week's Memories Made video. And I'm going to mount the, or rather just place that die cut on top. And then I run my dot runner on top. You can use a Xyron machine, you can use wet glue. It's up to you. And then we'll just place that in the center there as best as possible. And then because the die cut is thin in places, sometimes it moves. So when I'm placing it down, I try and straighten it out as much as possible. And then I kind of leave it loose without pressing it down all the way so that if I want to change the placement a little bit, I can. I'm going to do the same thing with the G-O-O-D. Again, this is a Christmas die cut. It is in the Silhouette store and it was designed by Lonnie Stevens. She is one of my favorite silhouette designers. I love her titles. She's got a great cursive and some fun combinations. So look in the silhouette store by phrase or word, and you can find a lot of different options for creating titles. Also look at a longer phrase and see if you can use just part of the title for the layout. You're not required to use the entire title if there is a word that you like the design of, then by all means, 
ungroup the shape and cut out just part of the title, which is what I did here. I ungrouped the shape and then I cut just the define word and the good word as well as the two quotation marks. So there you have a layout that uses non-traditional colors. It's kind of a bright and happy layout and it works because I changed the photo to black and white. If you like this layout, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on my Memories Made videos, which are scrapbooking process videos. I also have additional items on my blog, including self-paced workshops and printables that you can download.